Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I have a mystery Poshmark box. And this one really intrigued me because it was $15. And in the little parentheses after the $15 crossed out was $250. Now I've learned from experience that that number is not always accurate. And in the description, it did not say $15 with a value of this amount. So I'm not really sure what we're gonna find in this box. The description said that it is makeup, skincare, things like that from a pet-free, smoke-free home, everything new with tags. Um, the brands range from NARS, Chanel, MAC to, to ELF, Makeup Revolution, Wet n Wild. Um, and they had answered that in some of the question comment areas where they also mentioned um, when somebody asked like how much or how many products can I expect? They said up to five pounds. So I have the box and we're going to open it. But first I wanted to talk about BoxyCharm for a minute. So I've received all of my extras, my add-ons that I've ordered. And today I got my actual BoxyCharm box. Um, and then I'm canceling. All right, canceled. So... But this is what came. So it's BoxyCharm and it said Tarte on it. And I just must not have been paying attention um, last month when I chose my item because I did not realize it was going to be all Tarte stuff. I like, I like Tarte stuff. I, I was like, is everything here going to be from Tarte? And yeah, guys, it is. It's all from Tarte. And I mean, if every box could be like a collab like this, that would be nice. I feel like, you know, like when Ipsy does their collab with people, it's not always of the same brand, but this is all Tarte stuff. So it's like hydration mask, um, awake sunshine stick. I guess when I looked back at my account online, this was what I chose. I don't remember that at all. Um, let's see, this is a double take awake. So it's like a concealer plus an eyeliner. Um, and then we have some more of the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. There is, um, I can never say this name right, Maracuja Juicy Lip in Rose. And then a cute little, like, nine pan palette. And I'm like, this is, I don't know. I mean, I'm still canceling it, but that's one way to go out with BoxyCharm. And... It's in a cute little purple box. I don't know. I was just like, what is this? So that was a nice surprise of the day. But anyway, back to the actual makeup box that we're doing. So it came in a large flat rate box. It's a little dinged up, but I think it's all like in one sort of bag in here because there's a big like block that, that's moving around as I move this box around. So... And it does, it's not taped, it's just sealed shut. So let's see if I can get this open. Maybe I'm stronger than I think I am. I'm not, I'm not. We're, just, we're just ripping it apart. Okay. All right, so first thing I pull out is a Sephora face mask. And then, This is all. This is this is this is all that that there is. It's shampoo. It's a tangle free shampoo. What? Okay. And they got it. At TJ Maxx because I, I recognize that I can still kind of see like compared to you know how like I don't know if, if, if you've gone to TJ Maxx or Marshall or whatever it always has like a this is a price compare it to the actual price and that's just okay well it's kind of it's kind of dirty on the top great um, 
Yeah, well, it says it has argan oil that adds softness and shine, muru muru, something that enhances manageability, and aloe vera, which moisturizes and smooths texture. Okay, well, that's the box. Um, okay. Nice short video. Oh, to follow up on my last video, I thought I would share with you guys that in high school, well, in middle school, starting, I guess, starting in sixth grade until 11th grade, I played the trumpet. And when I typically, like, when people try and guess what instrument I play, they always go with a woodwind. They're like clarinet or the flute. And I'm like, sometimes I'll say, no, I played the tuba. Um, people don't typically believe me when I say that. But no, I played the trumpet. Um, and I just played it through 11th grade. And then my health kind of, my health started to get in the way of um, my extracurricular activities. Um, but yeah, so I did marching band. I did concert band. I did jazz band. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, we had our, like, my sister that went to high school, like, two years ahead of me, she was on the flag squad for the marching band. So we, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say we did it together because we weren't in the same sections. But, I mean, she would, you know, drive me to band camp and all the practices while she was at high school with me. Um, the trumpet line was fun. It was, um, it was mostly guys. Um, and, and there was a small group of us girls. But it was, I would say it was, it was mostly guys. And it was fun. We always had, like, sweatshirts or hoodies made for for each year that I was in it and they were specified with like all our names on the back and and cool like that and marching band it was I didn't like the performing part because I get I would get nervous that I'd forget it but I never did it's like once you go through all the the stages of learning the program or the show like it's just autopilot where you march in the show but I remember um before competitions because we did a lot of we did a lot of competitions I would think to myself in my head, like each show for the three years I did, it was like between like 10, 12 minutes maybe. And I just remember thinking to myself, okay, this is in 12, in 13 minutes, this will all be over. <laughs> like it'll be done and we'll be done. And we can go back and sit on the stands and watch the other bands and drink hot chocolate. But I just remember being nervous about it. And to this day, I have three nightmares in my life that are like recurring that I'll have every so often and maybe someday I'll talk about the other two but I always if I have a nightmare it one of the greater ones that I have is about marching band and like when I quit marching band I just have nightmares that like I'm running late for marching band or I lost my trumpet or I can't find where we're performing or I you know I didn't bring my uniform and I know it sounds minor, but like in the dream or the nightmare, it's like awful. Or when I was in high school, mar if you were in band during marching season, it was your first period. And during when marching band season was over, concert band was your first period. And I would always just have nightmares that like I'm missing class or I'm missing rehearsal. I know, I mean, saying this out loud, it sounds like dumb. Like, is that really a nightmare? But it is. There's like, I don't know. But anyway trumpet I was a trumpeter and I was good for a while and then I I kind of just stopped and then when I was in college I pawned my trumpet for $75 at a pawn shop so <laughs> that's that and I I would not ever be able to play now I don't think I remember like the the like the notes like doing because it has the three there are three keys and I remember in middle school we had to learn like the whole chromatic scale and do all that stuff then we had to do it like all 12 scales in like a minute and that was that was fun and I still kind of remember that in my head but other than that like the mouthpiece and everything like I would not do very well all right well I mean I'm sorry that that was such a disappointing box both for me and for you guys I guess in that one, Boxy Charm wins because that tart box is, is kind of cool. But yeah, so I'm not going to show, I'm not going to say the seller's name because the description made it seem like it was going to be something special. And this is what it is. So thank you for joining me. Hopefully I will have another box to open with you guys soon. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.